Hello everybody, this is a different video from what I usually make, but it's one I felt I needed to make. So if you've been in the PvZ community for a while, you would know that it is pretty crappy, but that's a lot of communities in general. But what has happened yesterday, I think, really shows how awful it can be. So, good P2, founder of the mod Eclis, got his Discord raided by a hacker or somebody who somehow managed to give them administrator permissions and they banned everyone who was in there now that on its own sounds pretty awful but there's more to it than just that many hours ago when this raid happened there was a video made on good p2 a 40 plus minute video that is essentially a documentary that shows off uh, every single awful thing gp2 has done from manipulating people to not play other mods, to abusing artists, copyright abusing channels, racism, a lot of heinous shit he's done and has gotten away with for years until this year, a lot of the public eye in the PvZ community have started to witness and uncover these acts. I myself always knew GP2 was a piece of shit and many of course have known too. The only reason it's been like this for so long is because GP2, uh, very well known, is known as the person who fixed Plants vs. Zombies 2, when no, he never did anything like that, he just made a mod. So what does this 40 plus minute documentary have to do with GP2's Discord getting wiped? Well, GP2 decided to point blame at the user who uploaded the documentary and say he was the one who raided his Discord. This user being named the Random. And uh, Random has been a prominent figure in the PvZ community. He's created a lot of Discords and manages some of them. Now, accusing someone of committing an act like this without any concrete evidence is something you probably shouldn't do. The way I see this personally is good P2 trying to deflect hate onto these people who made this expose. I uh I say this because well if you sit if you sat through this entire documentary it seems pretty in character for GP2 to do this kind of thing and because it shows how awful of a person he is. Again, this is just my personal thoughts so don't take it as a fact. But I think the much more clear thing as to why this wasn't done by Random and all the others who participated in this expose is because, well, this raid at its core was performed by one person and a bot. And this one person, as you will see here, uh, named Chinese Eclis, has some pretty blatantly bad English. So bad, it's as if it isn't their primary language. What I think is, this is someone in the Chinese community who saw the expose and decided to take advantage of it to do something really shitty because again, good P2 is not a good person and has been racist to Vietnamese and Chinese people. And thankfully people aren't just blindly jumping to good P2's side. The top comments in this video are definitely calling him out for making an accusation without any evidence. Uh, here, let's take a look at one of them, right here. Do you have any proof that the people who made the video raided your Discord server? If there isn't, then this could easily just be someone else trying to cause more of a rift between you and that other side you're referring to. It's not smart to jump to conclusions like that without much evidence. Now this video Good P2 made is titled, Thank You, The Good Side Community. So he was already pointing blame at them, and the description also shows that he has no idea what this video on him even has documented, because he's just saying bullshit like things taken out of context when they showed all the context in the world of what he has done. His description also shows some very loose evidence of them supposedly taking part in this raid in which... Another one of the top comment replies to, these better than I could, so I would recommend you just take a look at the video yourself, ex especially the expose, you should watch that first, I'll even link it in the description below. Now what I think of all of this is that GP2 had it coming. For years he's gotten away with doing all the awful things he's done and it finally caught up with him. 
I don't feel bad that his YouTube channel prior to this event got hacked by some random crypto cucks or that his Discord got wiped. You can feel bad for him, I understand. It does suck, but knowing full well how bad of a person he is, no, I, I don't feel bad for him. Should those events happen the way they did though, no, he should have gotten his YouTube channel taken down for copyright abusing other channels and his Discord shouldn't have been raided. I absolutely believe in separating the art from the artist, but I think both are garbage. And for good P2 to take this situation and to just deflect it on a group of individuals for making a video against him doesn't make him look any better. Again, that's just what I think, but to me that does seem like what is going on. He just needs to stop. Um... I'm working on another essay video, so don't expect uploads for a while, and that's really it, so see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.